Welcome to our collective worship. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person this week, but I hope you enjoy this video. We've gathered together in the name of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, to worship together and to continue to think about the value generosity. I'm going to tell you a story now. Some of you might recognise it. And I'm going to need you to help me because at three points in the story, we hear the sound of money dropping. The first time, it's supposed to be fairly short and quiet and then a little bit noisier and longer. And the third time, a little bit longer and noisier again. Let me tell you what it's going to sound like. The first time we hear the sound of money, you can join in with me saying, plinka planka, plinka planka, plink, plank, plink. Should we practice? Plinka planka, plinka planka, plink, plank, plink. And the next time it's going to be a little bit louder, so it's going to sound like this. Ring-a-ding, 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 ding-ding-ding. Shall we try? Ring-a-ding, 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 ding-ding-ding. And then a really loud sound of money falling. Chunk-a-chunk-a, 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 chunk-chunk-chunk. Should we do that? Chunk a 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 chunk chunk chunk. You'll know when we just do those things. So quiet, and the story begins. Jesus and his friends were walking past the temple when suddenly Jesus stopped. There was a queue of people waiting to put their money in the temple offering. I'd like to watch for a moment, said Jesus to his friends. I always find it interesting to see how the rich people in particular give their offering. They have to drop it down that hole in the temple wall and some of them drop it down so it makes as much noise as possible. Why is that? asked his friends. Jesus grinned, so that everybody else in the queue can hear how generous they are. The first man walked up to the wall. He reached in his money bag and he pulled out a handful of coins and when he slung them in the hole, they made a sound like this. Plinka planka, plinka planka, plink plank, plink. The crowd was impressed, all except for the next man who paraded proudly up to the wall and pulled two handfuls of coins out of his money bag. Down the hole they went and this is the sound that they made. Ready? Ring-a-ding, 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 ring-a-ding. Ding, ding, ding. That was amazing, said one of Jesus' friends. Jesus put his finger in the air. Wait, he said. I think the next man is going to give even more. And so he did. He reached under his enormous belly and pulled an enormous money bag from his belt and then he dumped it all in the hole. Chunka 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 chunk chunk chunk. Wow, said Jesus' friends, no one's going to beat that. I wouldn't be so sure, said Jesus, as a little old woman walked up to the wall and she dropped two coins into the hole. 
Ding. Ding. Did you see that? said Jesus. That woman gave more than anyone else. What? they asked. Are you kidding? No, Jesus replied. I happen to know that woman. She's a widow and she's very poor. And those two coins were all she had. The others put more in the offering, yes. Plinker, planker, plinker, planker, plink, plank, plink. Ring a ding, ring a ding, ring a ding, ring a ding, 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 ding. Chunka, 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 chunk, chunk, chunk. However, they had lots more money to spare and lots more money back at home. But the widow gave the most because she gave everything she had. Ding, ding. I wonder what you think the different values were by those characters in the temple. So I'm going to ask you now to take a moment and talk to your neighbour about the different people who gave and what you think their values were. And when I want you to stop, I'll hold up my hand. Hopefully you're all listening again now and hopefully you've had some interesting conversations. I wonder if you think generosity always has to be about money or maybe we can be generous in other ways. We thought a bit about that last week, didn't we? We're going to be quiet for a moment now and I want you to think. How generous are you, not for discussion, for your own reflection? Do you just give what you don't really need for yourself? Or do you make sacrifices like the woman in today's story? I'm going to pray a prayer now and if you'd like to make it your own, please say Amen at the end. It's a prayer by John Wesley. Dear Lord, help us to be generous and do all the good we can, by all the means we can, in all the ways we can, in all the places we can, at all the times we can, to all the people we can, as long as ever we can. Amen. And I look forward to seeing you in the hall again next week. God bless. Bye bye.